Hello there people, this is Christian and welcome back to my computer and this image in front of us that's a, uh, we can call it a vase, you can call it uh, anything you want this is a container with a triangular faces that are twisted around twisted around, as you can see there's a long helix going on this way and there's a shorter helix going this way you can look at it a couple of ways, so we're gonna have a look at the drawing, step one here is the drawing as all challenges, we can take a screenshot. Uh, there's a height of 80, there's a width of 75. All dimensions are in millimeters. Uh, vase wall thickness, let's call it that, is 1.2 millimeters. What is the volume of a vase in uh, cubic millimeters? You don't need to tell me all the uh, numbers after the, the decimal point. Uh, basically, if these numbers are enough, and we might get some different results from this because. I'm really not giving all the information here. I'm giving some of my information. You might be able to make it exactly. I don't know. Uh, you can see uh, there are horizontal. Let's look at the model. That's much easier. Here is the model. It's a vase, so it's open in the top. It's closed in the bottom. That's the definition of a vase or container. Uh, let's look at from the front. You can see we have like this horizontal. And we have this long helix going on, we have a short helix. All the faces are flat triangles. We can shed that, we can do a right click, we can see we can do a create a sketch. If we can create a sketch, it's a flat face. And what should we more say? Yeah, looking from the font, you can maybe make out. We can also see that in the drawing. Let's move in a bit. You can see the twist here, how far it is, and you can see from this image here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is an octagon that's moving upwards, looking like this. I can think of a couple different workflows. I have one I like to use. So uh, let's have a look at one once again. Uh, the dimensions, dimensions, sorry, dimensions, 80 height, 75 width. What I mean by that is that 80 height is from the bottom face here to the top face up here, uh, this face here. The 75 is the distance from one point of the octagon to another point of the octagon. So the largest diameter, basically the uh, cylinder that's circumscribing this vase. So you can spin it around a bit. This is just a normally, these two is a fun, you might learn something, or you might scratch your head and think what's going on here. Anyway, give it a try, I will post my workflow sometime in the future, not too far away I hope. Uh, with that said, take care, see you around, and 